So you guys, I went for the New South Wales driving test and these people humbled me. hi guys so we are here at the park i was actually cooking but the babies were crying like screaming so i had to pause everything and bring them to the park so that after playing you know they'll get exhausted and when they're asleep i can go cook my food so motherhood 101 anyways aura is already disturbing let's go say hi aura she doesn't care and that's zara she's actually sleeping i guess so you guys, I went for the New South Wales driving test and these people humbled me, like they humbled me really, really bad. It's a whole story guys, so I'm going to just you guys later. Keep going. Good girl, Aura. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Hi, cutie pie. This is exactly what is my beautiful child likes. Enjoyment. <laughs> enjoyment. She said, "Yeah, you like enjoyment." Who doesn't like enjoyment? Enjoyment. They're always cleaning this park, guys. Like this is. I don't know why we can't have this in Nigeria. Like this look how clean this place is sparkling clean well maintained i don't know why we can't have this in our own country it's crazy everywhere is organized clean it's a huge huge park as you can see see someone walking there do you want to know they're, they're always checking this like this swing is this in court swing i don't know what this is called is it swing it's swing right so yeah they're always maintaining it trying to see if it has any um just to avoid accident you know if it has any cracks any malfunctioning so yeah australia is beautiful look at look at all the greenery all the greenery say bye bye good job say hello all right say hello she can't be bothered Look at your clothes. Dosaya, Dosaya, it's not for you. It's people's stuff. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh my lord. She likes to go larger every time we come in. This is what we did at Kiss growing up playing with sand and stones and all this. I bet she's enjoying herself doing this. Baby, who is that for? Is it for Mama? Hmm? Can I have it? Go on, yem. Yem. Well, let's go. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. She always doesn't like going home when it's time. Oh, uh oh. Careful, sweetie. Ngwa, let's go. Oh, wahala. Ngwa, let's go. Yeah, I fast so we can get home. Oh, so we are done. Let's head down. This small thing, eh? this small coming out. I'm already like exhausted. Are you alright, Ara? You ready to go? 
So guys, finally the girls are sleeping. So this is actually something that works for me every single time. By the time they are done playing in the park, they will be exhausted and they will fall asleep. So this is a hack. If you're a mom, I'm giving you this hack now for free, free of charge. Anyways guys, so I said I was going to just you guys, you know, uh, the driving test, what happened and stuff. I wanted to actually talk to you guys there, but it was too, too noisy. So the thing is, I know you guys might be wondering or might be a bit confused because you'll be like, um, I thought she already has a driver's license. Why is she still talking about driver's license? So the thing is, guys, I've been driving on my, you know, overseas license, aka Nigerian license. So for the past three years now, that's what I've been driving on. Months ago, I decided to convert or to switch from the, you know, overseas license or Nigerian license to the Australian one so for you to do that you have to take a test So uh, first of all you need to do the the knowledge test which is like theory of driving and then after that you now proceed to do the practical So yeah, I took the knowledge test or the theory of driving like I said and I smashed it It was one sitting it was easy. I was like is that it is that all is that all so with that confidence I was like yeah, I'm going to do the practical one and I'll pass because why won't I pass because I've been driving for years Okay, so that's how I went, you know to go take the test and I failed it What happens is when you fail the test they will now like issue you a learner's license like the Australian learner's license and when you have the learner's license you can't drive alone you have to it has several conditions actually so you have to always be in the car with someone um you can't drive alone you have to be in the car with uh, someone who already has the australian license so that's the condition so as you guys know i've been off work for some time now and i'm planning on going back to work so i was like why did i even go ahead to go try switching or converting like i should have just left it but you know what sometimes in life you know things like this happen and you just question yourself like why would you even try to make a move to improve it's almost like they're punishing you for trying to improve yourself because i believe you know me conversing will be like an upgrade it's not like driving on your overseas license is bad or you can't drive with it you can drive with it you know by law is allowed but i just feel like if i'm in australia i should be driving with australian license like yeah so that's why i actually went to that switch it and it was like i entered one chance i don't know it was actually going to stress me like the way it did like it took a whole toll on me the kind of resilience that i actually exhibited throughout this process like i didn't even know i had it so if my aq was here before you know how they do they measure human quotient you know you have the aq the I think I've even forgotten all this. You have the AQ, you have the SQ, you have the EQ, you have the IQ. Most people just know about the IQ. You, you know, your ability to learn and remember and study, stuff like that. And then the SQ, your social quotient, which is just your ability to make friends, keep friends for a long time and stuff like that. And then you have the EQ. The EQ, aka emotional intelligence. I think we all know about the emotional intelligence, you being able to be empathetic and all of that. And yeah. And then you have the AQ, which is your adversity quotient, quotient, which is like you being um you being able to be resilient in time of trouble, you being able to go through something really hard or tough time and still come out strong without attempting to kill yourself or stuff like that that's lesson for another day guys so i hope you learned something today the four human question anyway i'm actually digressing so anyways everything happens for a reason and i learned a lot from that and like i said if my aq my adversity question it was like if it was here before it's now like over here and see who woke up guys aura is right here i don't know why she woke up but i think she had my voice and that's where she she came down anyway so uh thank god everything is settled now i passed it so right now i'm ready to go back to work i have my full license now 
I have my lessons that I've learned from that. I think I'm going to be making a video about, you know, converting the processes involved how you can go about converting how you can go about passing the exam what you need to know because it's not as easy as i actually thought they are not actually testing your ability to drive they are kind of testing your ability to maintain the rules because they have road rules and all that so they want to make sure that you are keeping the road rules so something as simple as shaking your head like head check i'm happy these people actually made a whole train out of me because i had to really calm down go learn this you know study read books about it um watch videos all of that i did all of that for you guys i like sharing my stories because i feel like every other you know why i actually failed it because every other person i've had I've, you know talk about this driving thing they would just say oh they passed it as once it was just once 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 i was like hmm maybe it's not too difficult but they didn't actually tell me the part that they went to book a trainer to put them through so anyways that's why i'm here to share my story and for you to learn from me so before you even if you can drive at all make sure you book a trainer just for them to put you through because one thing is knowing how to drive and another thing is actually knowing how to pass the exam or knowing what to expect in the exam anyways i'm going to go ahead and go finish up um go do my cooking and do all of that if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe here i share life experiences i share content on motherhood uh migrating to australia i hope you like this video share it if you like subscribe and i'll see you all lovelies in the next one okay bye